Hey there, it is Kim from YourChicGeek.com and I want to welcome you to this quick little mini tutorial that shows you how to make your own worksheets with Canva for work. Um, I have created uh, quite a few videos here on YouTube in reference to um, Canva for work, just showing you how you, know, you can use the platform in many different ways. And so um, I wanted to go ahead and show you all how to create or to make a worksheet like maybe in 10 minutes or less using Canva for work. Now I want to start off by saying that there is a difference in just regular Canva which is the free version and then Canva for work. Okay, So the regular version of Canva, uh, the free version, is uh, the version where you can still do a lot in there, you can still create a lot of different designs and all of that kinds of stuff. You still get access to all of the templates that you see here, um, you know, and all of that, that you can definitely download, use, and edit. Um, you know, um, the way that you want to. However, with Canva for work, there are some really, really, um, some, some really neat features that you can use that is, um, that are not available in the free version of Canva, okay? So I just want to make that distinction. Canva, the free version, is just that Canva for work is the premium version where it allows you to get access to different features, okay? different features. Now one of the features that I'm going to use in this tutorial is the uh, magic resize feature, okay, for Canva Fork. Alright, but here we go and let's go ahead and get into um, creating this worksheet. This is the exact process that I used to um, create these few worksheets that I created for a workshop that I ran uh, maybe a couple of weeks or so ago. Alright, so here we go. First thing you want to do is when you log into um, the back end of Canva for work, um, and what you can do is if you don't have a paid account, I know that Canva, I think they let you run a um, free 30-day trial, I think, for um, Canva for work. So you can definitely, if you already have an account with Canva, you can definitely switch over and then just do the free 30-day trial just to give it a spin. And then also, um, because you're definitely going to need that for this particular tutorial. And if you don't have a Canva account, then the first thing that you're obviously going to need to do is to go over and to make sure that you sign up for Canva for work. Okay, sign up for Canva for work. If you just Google that, it'll take you immediately to the page where you can sign up for your free 30-day trial. Okay, Canva for work. All right, so after you get logged in, get your account and stuff set up, then what you're going to do is you're going to click on create a design over here to the left. And I've already been in this and I stay in Canva. So, but once you click on create a design, it's basically going to pop up all of these different templates, okay? Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to under documents and we're going to go to the document here that has the A4 underneath it, and then we're going to click on this, okay? Because this is the template that we're going to be using. Okay, great. Now, there's a specific reason that I'm using this template, and um, that reason is because there are a lot of already pre-made templates, um, worksheets, different things, checklists, and all that kind of stuff that you can take and just adapt um, the way that you need to, okay? You don't have to start completely over from scratch. Um, I do know how to make worksheets from scratch, but for the sake of time, I'm all about time and um, um, efficiency. So <laughs> this is my deal. All right, so we're going to keep scrolling down here until we get to, um, on the left-hand side, there's a specific worksheet that I'm looking for, and I'm going to know it when I see it. So you're just going to kind of sc keep scrolling, and I know I'm going fast, but um, you're going to see this thing here in a few minutes. Nope, it's not that one. Even though this is a neat one, I don't want to use that. It is called the Book Report 2 or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Okay, so we are, we're getting close to it. We're getting close. We're getting close. Okay, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I love Canva so much because there's already a lot of stuff in here that's made. You know, you don't have to start from scratch trying to design stuff. Um, so, anywho... So we are getting there, and let's see here. Good grief. <laughs> it doesn't seem like we're going to get there. Okay, here it is. Boom. Good grief. Okay, so this is the template that I want to use. Um, it is a free template, 
as you can see here when I hover over this little icon it's free so let's click on this because this is what we want to use okay now I don't want to use this template um, as a worksheet in its state okay because it's in the wrong size so what I love again about uh, Canva for work is the magic resize tool that you can use with this premium version okay so in order to use this what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to where it says file and then it's gonna you're gonna go down to where it says magic resize okay now I don't wanna use any of this so I'm gonna uncheck these then I'm gonna go to where it says under documents US letter 8.5 by 11. This is the size that we want to resize this A4 design template to. So what you're going to do is once you check US letter, you're going to click Abr Abracadabra resize and boom, there you go. Okay. So this worksheet or this, um, this book report template <laughs> has been resized to the size that we need this to be. Okay. So I'm a stickler for design, or not designing, but I'm a stickler for renaming my designs. So I'll just do um, worksheet template design tutorial. Okay, so I'm just going to rename this. You can rename this to whatever you want to rename your template to. Okay, now. Um, now what I'm going to do here, and this is again what I love about Canva, all of this stuff is already made for you. This is pretty much designed. You just need to get a little clever and just kind of, you know, figure out how um, you can use or the people that you're going to be handing this worksheet out to can use this, okay? So uh, maybe you're going to use this for a lead magnet. Maybe you're going to use this for, I don't know, maybe a, um, I don't know, some kind of, uh, I said lead magnet, maybe you're going to use this for maybe a little free workshop or something or a free mini course. I'm not sure, but um, you can just kind of change this a little later to kind of fit the, um, the, uh, fit the, the goal that you want to use this uh, worksheet for. I think I said that right. <laughs> yeah. So fit into the, the, the reason that you want to use a worksheet. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just kind of start playing around with colors. Um, this is another thing that I do love about Canva for Work is that I, it stores my brand colors. So I'm going to just change this top part here to my brand color. Um, something else that you can do is you can change this font. Um, I don't really like this Peace Sans font. Um, so I'm going to use something else. And I'm going to use Oswald. This is one of my favorites. Then I'm going to just kind of resize this. Okay, I think that looks okay. Then um, what you can do is, if, for instance, if you click on this, you see how these two items are grouped. I don't really like that sometimes because um, I, I want to be able to kind of move around or move my fonts and things like that around. So I don't really like this grouping. So I'm going to click ungroup to separate the two. So now I can move this around the way I want to and etc. Okay. So I'm going to just change this free worksheet. Uh, I'll just name it this. And then, like I said, if you wanted to change uh, the secondary font, you definitely could. Um, you know, in Canva, again, this is one thing that I love about it. So maybe if I would, didn't like Oswald, I can change it to this. Or I can probably, let's see here, I could change it to this, you know, so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and keep it at Oswald. So I think that looks okay. And then um, I'm going to change the subtitle okay all right so under here you know you can just change this um, if you want to you can keep the name you can keep the date um, you definitely can remove this um, for the book you can change this to something else so maybe um, I'll change this to goals Um, or no, let's do this. Yeah, here we go. So we'll do your business. And I'm going to expand this out. Actually, I need to reduce this font size to make that work. So I'm going to do a 15 and see if that, okay. So it looks okay. You know, you can just kind of play around with this and get it the way you like it and just kind of play around with that. So it'll be business and then you can do uh, 
you know, maybe your website, so they can put their website there. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around with this, okay? So now the next thing you can do um, that I really love is at the bottom here where you have all of these little boxes and things like this, you can definitely come in here and you can change this default color. So instead of using the same green, I'll use like an orange and then I'll change, you know, this color and I'll just kind of continue to do this and maybe just play around with some colors and things like that or actually Let's see, I kind of like the orange. Okay, hold on, I see what I did. Okay, yeah. So then you can come in here and you can keep, you know, just kind of rebranding this worksheet, right? So I would come in here and just kind of change these colors around and so on and so forth, basically, right? So you can do the same thing for this section, you know, um, just keep kind of rebranding and then just continue to go on. Um, then another thing that you can do, again, is depending on what you're gonna be using this for, you can just change, you know, the, um, the titles to these boxes or above the boxes to reflect the purpose of this worksheet so you can do that and all of that good stuff okay um, now something that I really like to do is I like to brand all of my worksheets by putting my URL at the bottom of them this is just something I like to do so I will probably come over here to elements and I will probably go to shapes and then I will click on the square and then I would drag this square towards the bottom of this worksheet okay and we're going to bring this down a little bit and I'm going to bring this over and then here you can go to text add a little bit of text and then you can just put the URL of your website here okay so again this is just my thing I just I'm just a big stickler for branding stuff you know especially if you're going to be using this as some kind of free giveaway or something like that People can tell, oh my gosh, I got this from, you know, your Chic Geek or your site, blah, 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 blah. And um, I really love this worksheet. It was very helpful. Okay. So this is pretty much what I've, you know, what I've done <laughs> with the or previous worksheet that I created for my workshop. Okay. Um, it didn't take me long. It just takes a little bit of creativity um, to kind of take something and um, take something, one of the templates that are already supplied to you in Canva using the magic resize tool and then changing the size from the A4 to the 8x5 by 11 and then just kind of, you know, playing around with this. I mean, you can even take this a step further. Maybe if you wanted to, um, I don't know, I'm really into uh, flowers and stuff. So maybe if you wanted to add some flowers to this thing and really you know kind of dress it up or something like that you know you can do something like that to make it you know pop even more so I mean it's just it's just a lot of things that you can do um, you know as far as getting creative and and things like that I'm not really crazy about this flower right here <laughs> but I'm just you know it's just the sky's a limit right I mean, you could just really do some really, some some great, some neat things. And even so much as, um, I think you can even change the background. Let me see what this looks like. Yeah, so uh, I don't like that. So I thought it was going to change this. Let me do undo. And I thought by clicking on this. Okay, so it's the background for the other thing. I thought that it was going to change the top part. Okay. So, um, and then let's change this to white, which I don't like that. But anywho, hold on, so let me do an undo. Well, that's weird. So anywho, um, just again, showing you, you know, the sky's the limit with this. This is exactly the little process that I use to create the um, worksheets for the workshop that I participated in. And um, I showed you what those look like and how they turned out on the blog. So again, I just wanted to show you guys this quick tutorial on how you can take 
a worksheet in Canva for work and just make it your own, okay? Now, the last thing, of course, is that once you get done with branding your worksheet, you, you know, you like your fonts, you're really pleased with it, you know the intent, you've, um, you know, uh, branded this entire, the, branded the entire worksheet with your colors, all that kind of stuff, and you're ready to print this, then all you're going to do is come over to where it says download, and then you're going to make sure that it's set for a PDF, and then you're just going to click download, okay? So it's going to start doing its thing and, and all of that good stuff, and then it's going to come up, okay? So this is it, boom, okay? And again, this is, you know, maybe what, five minutes or so, or 10 minutes worth of work. So um, not bad, not bad, okay? Again, um, I want to thank you for watching. Um, if you know someone that would enjoy this tutorial um, that wants to learn how to create a worksheet using Canva, then definitely send them this way. I also have a free e-course that you can um, sign up for or learn more about. It is a link. There's a link to the free e-course at the bottom of this video. And um, so um, if you want to take that to learn more about visual design, specifically with Canva DIY style, then I think that's um, this is a course that you would highly, highly, highly enjoy. Okay. So again, um, I will see you guys around and um, cheers.